Hello everybody, welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel. I'm of course the Excessive Player and today we are up to episode number 22 of our survival roleplay series here on Farm Simulator 19. Before we get started, if you could quickly drop us a like on today's video, it would be very much appreciated. And of course if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So today, episode number 22, what are we doing? Well we are going to be collecting bowels up today. We uh, obviously finished off yesterday's episode where uh, this was uh, literally just dumped here <laughs> to be honest it's not been marked as uh, delivered oh we wasn't uh, notified of delivery sorry so uh, yeah this has uh, arrived and just been left here nobody's contacted us to tell us it's being delivered so this is not good but there we go so we're going to collect bowels up today uh, yeah we'll probably bring it through this way we're going to need the uh, Massey Ferguson of course so we'll run around and go grab that uh, somewhere here where do we leave it oh, there it is on the uh, bow wrapper of course and drop that off there I could go straight through there but uh, head on round get ourselves lined up Yeah, same. Obviously need to take this through. Uh, I don't think it's going to fit through the little gate there. going to have to back this up. Back it up down the lane a bit. There we go. Then we can uh, swing in this gateway here I think that's in there isn't it? yeah we're in obviously it's quite a tight yard to get round this is tight farmyard but uh, we get it done Get up onto the field. And then what we're going to do, we're going to send the drone up, I think, to see this uh, all in action. So let's uh, send that up. There we go. And then we're going to uh, put this in operating position. Collects the bow up as you can see. Drops it on the bed. Not quite sure how we're going to get those out of there. I'm not sure if this is going to be able to uh, that arm reach in there. Struggling to get those out. As you can see, it's a nice uh, mechanism. Very smart, pushes those back. And of course, ready to collect the next one. As I say, a very smart bit of kit this is. It's a huge amount of money's worth. Let's see, I think we paid about £34,000 for this from that auction site.
Again, a full automated process at uh, stacking these bells. It's a little bit slower operation. But still, it gets the job done. get these ones over in this hedgerow. So if I recall from the auction sites to say this uh, machine takes 24 bowels in one go which is again a very generous amount that's 18 on there already It's a little bit difficult to uh, line up. That's twenty one on there. I think we can get three more on. Pushed it right to the back, look. So yeah, that's uh, an excellent bit of kit, that is. And that's the 24, as it says, 100% full now. So what I'm going to do is just uh, put that back into transport position. Okay, now we need to drop these bells off somewhere very flat so they can of course ferment somewhere that's not going to be in the way uh, yeah where can we put them where can we put them I think let's uh, pack ourselves around Turn that drone off for a minute. Along this fence here would probably be a fairly reasonable place to put them, I think. Looking over the cow field, I'll quickly send that drone up again so you can see the unloading process. And then uh, unload the bowels. Somewhere here, as I say. Reasonably flat sort of area. So we're going to uh, unload the bells. That pushes them off. Push them all off onto the ground. Pull forward ever so slightly. go. A fairly neat stacked set of bells. So yeah, that's uh, really good to be honest. It's a fantastic bit of kit, as we say. It's well worth uh, the money. And so we've bought it from the farm auctions to make it a bit cheaper for us, but uh, yeah. It's uh, well worth picking up, that was. So we collect the rest of these bells up now. As I say, we'll leave those ones in the field. They can uh, sit in the sun there and ferment. And then 
the rest of these ones what we'll do is uh, put them into the yard somewhere perhaps uh, offload them into the silage pit leave them to ferment in there obviously not going to take uh, too long to ferment but those two that are in the hedge up there I think we're going to have to uh, get those out with the uh, bow spike which means piercing them so we have to get them re-wrapped at some point I would say this is a fantastic bit of kit around can't see any more bells anywhere other than those uh, couple that are in the hedge I think we've uh, just about cleared this field off so we'll fold all that away and the drone off. As I say, we've got those couple in the hedge there. We're going to have to try and spike them out of there. We'll do that another day. So these 11 that we've got on here, what we're going to do is just offload them into the uh, pit just here, I think. And then we'll keep these 11 for us to use. that turn I don't think harder turn no I think we're gonna have to send the drone up and have a look yeah we're not gonna make that turn yeah I'm not gonna make it We've got it in there this time. So as I say, send the drone up and then you can see what uh, sort of goes on on the farm. But uh, what we'll do, as I say, we'll offload these uh, bowels just here. Push them to the end, lowers the platform down. And then, as I say, we can offload them, and that will push the uh, all the bowels off. Like so, and there we go. So they are our obviously our feed for the cows once they've uh, fermented. Turn the drone off, back in the cab of course, see everything moving. There we go. So, I think we can leave this baler, uh, this uh, stacker just there. We don't need that anymore today, I don't think. Uh, the next job is to... Uh, get these animals sorted out I think we need to clear that manure out so what we're going to do is just connect the baler up there and we'll go park it up somewhere just about made that yeah 
Yeah, should fit it in that shed there next to that baler. Hopefully, anyway. There we go, fits in there nicely. Drop that there, and that's that job done as well. Shut it off there. So, yeah, let's run on round. As I say, we need to uh, crack on with a few jobs today. We can close that gate up now as well. That don't need to be open. And we're going to jump into the uh, Fort Sitz uh, Z Z E Z E or Z T Z T three two three. There we go. So get that started up. And so we need to clear out uh, the rest of this manure. They seem to have uh, been having a session at it again. Open that gate up. And start shoveling it out. Again, it is a very uh, tedious job. Still, we need to do it. Obviously, we don't want to get... Uh, any kind of fines or anything from inspectors. In fact, come to think of it, uh, Kenny did say that uh, inspectors were around this week. I wonder if uh, They actually come by all the farms and make themselves known. Curious to know. As I say, we'll get uh, all this manure cleared out. Need to uh, go and speak to some of the other locals as well, see if they need any work doing. Obviously, we're trying to make as much money as we possibly can, but we can only make the money as quick as uh, bowels flament, of course. Perhaps we should uh, get a trailer as well, we could uh, sell some of this manure. Sure, other farmers would probably want it as well. get this job done it's a big pile of poo As I say, I think we uh, could really do with a bigger bucket as well, but uh, for a yard tractor I think this is uh, quite a good bit of kit to be honest. As I say, it uh, does the job pretty well. to really get some straw in here to be honest I 
as I say, it is a lot of uh, shunting backwards and forwards, but again, these are the kind of jobs that do need doing regular on a farm. Obviously, if you don't uh, keep up with this kind of thing, then it does take a very long time to do. Again, we're probably... Uh, Always quite busy with uh, other bits and pieces. Why is that not uh, scooping? Because we're on the wrong angle. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. Obviously we are looking at uh, trying to make as much money as possible. The only way we're going to do that is of course uh, by expanding the farm. Again, I think we're doing uh, a fairly good job so far. But uh, yeah, as I say, we're tr again trying to watch the uh, recording time that we are doing, of course. And so we don't want uh, too long our episodes, but at the same time we don't want... Uh, don't want a real short episode. But uh, as I say, we are going to get this uh, done and finished. Today, of course was all about collecting those bales up and checking out that uh, auto stacker that we uh, purchased but uh, yeah, I think we've done a fairly good job today getting those bales collected they're all you can just see them through the shed up the back there, up at the back of the cow shed. Just as we're scooping up another load, you can just see them through there, look. Certainly look nice and neat. But as I say, we will... Uh, crack on with some farming we need to uh, get some straw produced otherwise we're going to end up buying that I don't want to uh, have to pay out for products oops camera nearly fell off my head there But uh, yeah, as I say, I think that will be it for today. As I say, we'll get this finished off. And then uh, we'll be uh, ready to crack on with some more farming. Obviously we need to get uh, the grass fields recut. Produce some more grass bells, etc. So we can... Uh, Create some more feed. We need to obviously get those fermented bales sold once they have fermented, of course. So, yeah, a few different jobs. The other thing we've uh, got to do, of course, is uh, sell the milk as well. Oh, need to make an inquiry as to how we go about selling that at the, I'm assuming the dairy. 
Meadow Grove Dairy it'll be. Do they send a tanker? Do we have to take the stuff down there ourselves in our own tankers? Etc. Do they, you know, we have to make those kind of inquiries. spread that around there but never mind never mind but uh, as i say that's going to be it for today hopefully you have enjoyed this uh, video today if you have remember of course to drop us a like on today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new and of course you could uh, share today's video with family and friends or anybody else you think may enjoy it would also be very much appreciated but like i say that's going to be it for today thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next one bye for now